yeah i am also doing good okay so what is going on friends what was the main purpose of booking right. calls and all Right. So actually, uh, I'll just quickly give my introduction to you. Mm-hmm. So recently, uh, I'm working on uh, I'm working with entity data from last three years. Okay. I have total three year experience, mm-hmm. and I'm working in a Java development. Okay. Uh, as a Spring Boot developer these days, mm-hmm. and uh, just previous project uh, I was working on it was uh, basically on Quarkus. So there is a Quarkus framework. Mm-hmm. So I was working on that, similar to Spring Boot. Okay. Right. So mm-hmm. that's about me, and actually. Uh, from couple of uh, weeks i'm trying to apply for the uh, other companies because current my project is uh, almost getting ended mm-hmm. and post that i will be on bench so i was thinking to why don't you why don't i switch the companies now mm-hmm. and it's a good time also right mm-hmm. by looking into the experience mm-hmm. so i was thinking about that so i kept applying from last 3 weeks i would say but uh, what i was seeing in my nokri.com profile or maybe in linkedin my resume was not getting selected i mean mm-hmm. there was three to four checklists like the resume then interviews and in hr yes, yes at least at least it was not able to pass on the resume uh, test the resume was kept get, mm-hmm. getting failed okay mm-hmm. and not sure i mean i kind of reviewed my by myself i tried to look up to the youtube videos as well mm-hmm. but i found out that it seems something is missing in that resume because that could be the reason why i'm not able to crack okay right so uh, yeah. you told like some framework have you worked upon so that is related right. to spring so is it like uh, some different kind of thing you were doing so because in right. interview so, they will ask question on springs only no so will you be able to answer right that? so actually right it actually that quarkus framework it it looks similar to uh, spring boot only mm-hmm. but the annotations are different i mean i mean there may we we may be using uh, auto configuration and here we are having some other annotation for that Mm-hmm. Auto like configuration the is there system. in in built part of Android Spring Boot application is there. Within that, the right. auto configuration. So, is there. right. So basically, uh, in Quarkus framework also we are developing REST APIs only, mm-hmm. and we have the uh, architecture of microservices only. Okay. And uh, we use Hibernate as a database, JP Hibernate. Okay. And uh, I mean it is similar, but we can't say is exactly same. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's almost a similar framework. So have you Working created any project on Spring Boot? <clears throat> uh, so far, uh, Devjit, I just started only. Uh, I was just following one YouTube channel, and uh, through that, I'm learning some concepts. Okay. Like actually, uh, though I know uh, how REST API data flow works, mm-hmm. but actually, how in Spring Boot, right? And through Spring Spring Tool Suite, how we actually build that. Mm-hmm. So I, I have started learning that because I saw like couple of uh, job description are asking only for specific. Spring Boot uh, technology. Yeah, yeah. They are not looking for Quarkus or something. Quarkus is not that on. much used. Means whatever I have seen, very few requirements I have right. seen with that. So we have to upgrade right. our skills with Spring Boot, Spring JPA, microservices with Kafka, and Kubernetes. These things they were they are more okay. expecting as of now. So try to create one okay. CRUD operation. Start with doing CRUD operation. You can take like book management okay. store or like uh, flight booking. Those kind of operations you can do with CRUD operation. You can try okay. it out. Just create small application nice. in GitHub. Try try to attach that in your LinkedIn profile as well as on your resume. It will create an added okay. advantage. So, however, how small it is, but it catches the attention of the recruiter. Right, it's something you have done which right. others didn't do. So, right. you have to stand out. You have to stand apart basically. You have to do something which other right. candidates are not doing. So, your first step is will be to create one Spring Boot project. Cloud operation, basic cloud operation. Okay. Also, it's fine. That will be the first step. So, what all things okay. you are writing in your resume? Because I don't think you are writing Spring Boot or microservice in your resume. Uh, currently, I am not writing because I am not confident on them because mm-hmm. I just started only. Mm-hmm. So, I have written only uh, Quarkus because which I have worked on, and uh, I know uh, databases. So, mm-hmm. the databases I have mentioned, and a couple of things I learn about front end as well, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So, I have mentioned that. So you have to create some projects on Spring Boot first because they are searching for those keywords. No, they will. The scanner is there. It is a scanner right. algorithm is there. So it scans for the keywords which the recruiter is looking for. So they have designed that algorithm okay. in such a way that they will give the inputs like if the resume contains these words, then only you will allow them to move further for screening process. Okay. So okay. if those words are not there, then it will straightforward get rejected. 
Okay. Right. Just uh, before okay. applying, are you seeing the job description and the key skill set what they are expecting? Right. Generally, I do uh, because uh, like recently, uh, today only I, I applied one of the job at Infosys. Mm -hmm. So they were looking for Spring Boot developer, but mm -hmm. uh, they were say, they mentioned like this: that you should have been uh, sufficient knowledge in one of the Java frameworks mm -hmm. like Spring Boot. They mentioned. So I but thought okay, mentioned the name, just right? asking about. Right, right, right. They mentioned it. Yeah. So that is what I mean. I think they are. Uh, like current like currently looking for only one specific uh, framework that is spring boot yeah uh, spring words should be there in your resume first of all so it's right for shortlisting purpose spring microservice java these are the keywords basically right so if these keywords are not present uh, your resume okay. will not get move ahead okay so have you uh, make it scanned through okay. ads scanner your I mean, not yet. Actually, uh, I knew about ATS, but uh, I mean, how to create a ATS uh, specific resume, I was not aware. Okay. So, so, have so your far, I didn't. With you? Right. I have it. Can you share it across so that I will see? Right. Let me quickly share. Yeah. So, currently, you are working in that framework only, right? So, it is about to get in. Right. 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 Yeah, so you have created two columns, right? Yeah, you have created two columns. So try right. to put it in one column format. So it becomes more ATS complex. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Education and uh, skills should be there at last. Because when you get the experience, okay. no, three to four years experience, then actually recruiters are looking for those keywords and the experience. What all projects have you worked upon? They will see that. Okay. So the company okay. name is and the date till when to when you have worked, that is kept very small so any recruiter is coming and seeing the resume they will not be able to see at first glance like what is the time period where you have worked in entity data so the font should be increased okay. the project font should be a little bit more increased okay okay, okay. yeah and uh, this education and skills try to put it below so i will send okay. you one format okay so it is fully it is right. online so okay let me share it Can you ping me on LinkedIn? Right. Let me just send you that. Just ping me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I will share you the resume of mine. Okay, sure. Let me paste in this chat, okay? Yeah. Okay, so where is the chat? Okay, I'm sending you my resume. Okay, just go through the format. Okay. Okay. And you can send your resume as well. I will see what is the ATS code. Okay, sure. So you have booked two sessions, one from uh, seven to eight and one from eight to nine. Right. Actually, right. This is for resume one, and second mm -hmm. is one for interview preparation. Okay. Actually, I was thinking like just to get some idea about how should I prepare okay. for the interviews as well. Okay, okay, sir. Just send me your resume over the chat so that I will. Right. Let me send you. Did you got my resume? Right. I I have received that. Thank okay. you. Let me send mine also so I can just see that. Okay. 
Right. I have pinged my resume as well. So, uh, Devajit, you were saying about the ATS score, right? So, mm -hmm. like, the more we have the ATS score, is is like the more we have the chances to get selected. Is it like that? Yes, yes, yes. Because first process is, is your uh, resume to get shortlisted. Then only further interview process will happen, right? Okay. So, first to your resume should right, get right, ahead. Right. <laughs> then only interview process. If your resume is not going ahead, then how interview will That's happen. true. Are you able to right. see my screen? Right, it is visible. Yeah, you are having a more than two or below two. Uh, I have three year experience actually. Okay. This is the website resumeverted.com. So here actually you, okay. it will it will identify the core skills. What are what all things have you put? Your experience, bullet points, okay. your impact. How have you written? What's the bullet point length? The length of your resume. Everything it will check, and it will give you okay. final score. Yeah. So your score is lying at fifty three. Okay, so okay. it should be eighty five plus at least. Okay. So these Got are the it. problems basically. So if you see the, and there is not much quantifying impact. So if you see right. over here, it will identify bad and only have made the mistakes. So you have Got to it. add certain numbers here. Like how many people okay. have you worked with? Okay. What exact response okay. time, how much response time got improved after your development? Okay. okay. So you have to give some numbers, right. some, some metrics you have to give. Okay, so let me give you one. Okay. So I will generate it for you. Okay. So this was the before developed highly reliable and scalable features in Java backend team for uh, what is this client name, right? BMW and BMW North America. You have worked right. with monolithic right. architecture. Right. Actually, the like, what we were doing is we were just making a transition from monolithic to microservices. Okay, okay. It was a lift and shift. Okay, okay. You haven't mentioned that uh, you have converted from monolithic to microservice. You should have mentioned this one, right? Oh, right. Otherwise, okay. they will be right. understanding, the recruiter will understand that you have worked in monolithic architecture only, you haven't worked on microservice. So, you should mention that point as well. Okay, sure. So, let me add it here. So, which one is closer to your uh, project requirements? So there is some metrics already generated <coughs> for you. Right. So you can modify the numbers as per you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think the uh, second one. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, we had right. We had the target as well. Like uh, uh, the BMW applications were there. Mm -hmm. Initially, the monolithic architecture. The problem was with them that it is very slow. Okay. So uh, they were just uh, suggesting us to make it uh, make it like more speedy mm -hmm. by increasing the API timings. So that okay. is the reason also they shifted from monolithic to microservices architecture. Okay, great. So you should add it here as well, like convert it to uh, microservice application. You can add that line after this. Okay. okay. I've sent you that line. Okay. Then yeah, after it. that, there is one more line. Assisted the team in POC. Okay, work for right. the application as well as actively participated from the design phase to the deployment phase. Okay, so after doing this POC, what happened? So you have given the assistance, okay. right? You have to write the end result. Means after right. doing this, what it actually led to? The final end result you haven't written. You have just written you have assisted. Right. <laughs> but what happened with your proof right. of concept? Is anything better happened after this? That thing is okay. missing here. Okay. So let me generate Got it for it. you. So 
you can choose out of these and you can modify it bit. So which one is closer to your project okay. requirement, you can select it. Okay. So right so the last one it seems uh, reliable i mean they close to the requirement also okay right 25 percent okay so if you want to can remove some of the metrics as well if you think like it is so much and you will not be able to explain it to the interviewer then you may remove some of the numbers okay. like you can give 1.5 okay. or 2x like that also you can add you can modify right. it as per your need and you just write it like against okay. which line you are writing this line so just note it down, okay? I'm sending you. Yeah, let so me note it. Now both these lines you have to write like against okay. which line you are writing this line. Otherwise you will get confused. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. So first two lines you got covered. So second and third is coordinated with the team in fixing the defense. So again, you have not mentioned like how many people's team have you coordinated with and uh, what was the result? Have you exactly fixed the difference right. or not? So it's missing some things, right? So these are the key things that people are looking actually. Right. These things everybody will write, but how different okay. your resume is, okay. it will be implemented by this. So there are a lot of suggestions. So you can take right. one of them because we have written a generic thing, right? So there will be a lot of suggestions for that. Right. Got it. So select which one is closer to your need. Actually, okay. these things, if you think, no, it will take a lot of time. So they will generate it for you. All right. Okay. Keep on doc format of your resume as well so that you can quickly change it. All right. So generally, like as per the job description, we need to keep it changed, right? I mean, what uh, the companies are looking for. Yeah, you can, can add, add or some of the things. You can add the resume, skill right? set. You can add the skill set, and they will be looking for certain keywords. You can add the keywords into the existing line. Okay, so you have to just uh, go back and forth, okay. like whatever skill set you are looking for, just add it in your skill set section, and these things will be common across all the things. Framework will be same. Just whatever things they are expecting, add it in just skill set. Okay. Section. That's it. Okay. It's like okay. one time effort. You have to create this resume one time and then just change as per job description. Right. Yeah. Okay. So which one will you select as per your resume? So I think the, uh, if you see this one, streamline the bug fixing uh, process by implementing, uh, I think the one, two, right? Yeah, this one. Okay, this one looks good right because i mean we are providing the numbers as well yeah so i'm sending you this one okay it okay. went two times i think okay. no problem then again the supported the team this one uh, is not there no? supported the team in doing the application setup ui setup okay and code commit from big bucket okay so regarding what you have supported so they were not able to do that's why you have supported or you have given kt means what you did exactly right so here actually i was provided i i gave them the uh, kt i okay. mean actually they were the new people and uh -huh. so we have to give them like and they were previously using github so we transitioned from github to bitbucket so i was aware about bitbucket how actually it worked so okay. I provide them the KT, how actually code commit, code pull, and all the basic requirements we used to do, right? Uh -huh. So I told, gave them a KT, kind of. So you can add that here. So I've given KT on this topic. Okay. Uh, with the, uh, okay. Okay. So like this, if you can write now, it will give good impression. Like you have given KT. You have done something as a leadership position. Okay. It suggests. Right. So uh, you can select among these, type to the setup or execute it. Okay. So which one looks mm -hmm. good? 
I think the first one seems good uh, because we I kind of actually coordinated with my team mm -hmm. for their setups and uh, gave them the KT about the bit bucket. Mm -hmm. It seems we okay, so can change the numbers also as per your requirement. Right. So these are very good words actually. So okay. they are framing it as per okay. the need of the resume. So and technology okay. used for backend for Java, Java 8. Okay. So here also they need metrics, they need specific metrics. Right. Okay. So let me generate it for you. Okay. You are getting right what is going on. Right, right. Actually, see, I think uh, like this resume would have been good if there is no introduction of Spring Boot, right? Uh, because companies are generally looking for that Spring Boot, and uh, I have not mentioned that anywhere. So uh, I think that could be the reason. You can uh, do it in any weekend. Getting, sit, uh, on, selected. sit on Saturday, Sunday, create one small grad project on book management or anything which you like, and then put it in the GitHub and tell like I have created Spring Boot okay. project. That also is fine. That keyword should be there first. That is important. Right. So here you can add a Spring Boot as well. Okay. You know the basics okay. of Spring Boot, right? What all things are there? Annotations. Right. Basics, no. I know. Uh, qualifier, all those internal annotations. Right. They will ask these questions only. What all annotations have you used in Spring Boot? What is auto? Right. What is auto configuration? So these things they will ask you. Okay. Okay. Develop robust backend components sure. with Core Java Enhanced Data. Okay. So you can write it till. Here, okay, okay, and you can add here Spring Boot as well because that word is okay. very important. And if you can right. add a microservice instead of EJB, then also it will be good. Okay, okay, add microservice instead okay. of EJB and try to learn microservice like few design patterns, distributed transaction, and Saga design pattern, circuit breaker design pattern. Try to learn these things, these are most frequently asked questions in microservice. Sending you this one. Okay. You just modify it instead of okay. uh, EJB, you can add microservice. Okay. Okay. And then core Java you are adding and Java 8 also you are adding. Don't add Java 8. Okay. Okay. If uh, you can okay. see like there is a requirement given in that uh, job description, then only you add. Okay. Because multiple times you are writing the same thing. Spring okay. Boot. Okay. So these are the keywords right. basically because you are having just two point something years of experience no? so go java will be sufficient right okay. okay i've sent you this one completed then this part is over first project second okay. project is uh, i'm a part of rewrite team okay responsible for there's a separate team here rewrite team uh, right, actually, uh, that rewrite team is that same one which is, I mean, they are responsible to do the transition from okay. the monolithic to microservices architecture. Okay. So, okay. these are the suggested bullet points for this. So, which one okay. will you pick? This one also looks good. I think the last one also. Okay. So you can add this keyword as well if required rewrite team. Okay. This is okay. not present, I think. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm sending this one. If required, then only add otherwise not required, it's okay. 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 You are writing against which you have to replace it with which statement. You have to first okay. tell this line and then against that line you have to uh, replace it with this line. Okay. So okay. try uh, writing in the mapping format like previously was this, now it's right. this. I'm just not noting it a uh, keyword like oh, which mm -hmm. keyword is replacing which. Yeah. So then technology used to backend Quarkus. I think this one I've already sent you above. The same thing you can right. replace it with the keywords here. Okay. okay. Tools used is fine. Position graduate engineer training. Trained in Java. The coursework, these all things uh, you put it at last. Coursework, contribution, achievement, skill okay. set, put it at last, all these things. So, the same way you have put, no, skill, okay. coursework, contribution, achievement, same way you put it at last. 
राइट ओके ओके कोर्स वर्क आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड दिस पार्ट कोर्स वर्क यू कैन रिमूव दिस कोर्स वर्क पार्ट एंड देन यू कैन ऐड द अचीवमेंट इफ यू ओके हैव टेकन एनी सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स लाइक एडब्ल्यूएस और एजियोर सो दोस थिंग्स यू कैन ऐड इट इन द स्किल सेट ओनली यू कैन ऐड ओके एंड कोर्स वर्क एंड अचीवमेंट्स यू कैन रिमूव इट ओके एंड द कंट्रीब्यूशन पार्ट यू कैन ऐड इट इन द प्रोजेक्ट ओनली ओके whatever contribution you did you did in the project only right so add those contribution okay. in the project don't add separately right right otherwise it will create confusion like uh, you have done some contribution separately okay. apart from your project so it gets right. signal like that too. okay trained in java so you have uh, okay. so this is an entity data only right so three projects you have right so actually it was like initial Uh, actually, I worked on two projects, and this last one is basically the uh, it is like the initial days of our job, where we were just passed out from the college. So we okay. got the trainings for two months. It's a service-based company, so they give the training for two months. Okay. So that by that time we were uh, GET. Okay. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Trained in Java backend, so we have to write gained in-depth knowledge of Java. And coordinated cross-functional okay. team to streamline the backend process. So you have to write the end result basically. So you have got trained. Right. So after getting the training, what you did? So that thing you have to write. Coordinated cross-functional okay. team to streamline okay. the backend process, resulting in twenty percent increase in project delivery speed. I think this looks good. Okay. Yeah. Seems good. Sending this. so this part is done training part then comes to project with respect to project okay uh, website biotech department college project these are the college projects you did right uh yeah this is the uh, college one actually so you are not written a matrix so like i was asking uh-huh. right i was asking like is it required to add the college projects or should we add something like uh, which we have developed during our office time maybe it's a Could be our uh, person project. Yeah, person so project also you can add these things. The yeah, so this uh, you are writing okay. separately, right? Unit testing and all these things you add it here in the main project. Right. Don't add separately. Okay. Because it doesn't give any meaning, right? Okay. You are writing it separately. So right. So you add it in the existing project in the real time application okay. which you have developed. Okay. There you add it. Okay. So, so have you done separately any okay. coding work in your college? <clears throat> yeah so i was actually part of uh, one uh, organization inside okay. the college itself we okay. were working on a uh, some live projects okay so okay. there only i got a chance to work for this website actually this is uh, our college college biotechnology department was participating in one of the competition i gym competition something okay. so they uh, basically uh, like uh, kind of uh, uh, ask us to work on the front end part okay, okay. Uh, for them This okay, was so which all uh, technology you have college used? Time so here HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the uh, front end only. Okay, okay, okay. So here work with UI system design, UI designing. So you can put it in one line only in the above statement. The first okay. line only you can add. Okay. Unit testing and all you can remove because you have worked on front end part. So what's the use of unit testing then? Then present. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Presented a website mm-hmm. demo to the team. It's obvious, right? After doing the <laughs> developing the website, they will express right. the demo. So this is obvious. Don't write right. this one. So presented a website demo. Okay. So okay. Uh, this technology technology used you keep. <clears throat> okay. Then this develop the mm-hmm. website using React JS or any technology which you need. Then uh, worked on the UI okay. design side. So you can merge these two lines. Okay. Okay. So I am designing it for this one. And you can merge the second line with this line. Okay. So here you, see, you have written develop the website for college. Here it is telling constructed right. and engaging and user friendly website. Which one looks good? Okay. Right. The second and the below ones. <laughs> yeah. So you have to quantify it separately. So with the development of this website, who is uh, gaining gaining more benefits? You have to give the benefits. Right. So it is engaging and user friendly. It gives the benefit okay. of your website. Okay, so that we have to add. So right. if you have added multimedia elements, interactive content, because it's from UI side, so you might have added this interactive right, content. Right. So, right. 
so page views was it going live or was it for demo purpose it was a demo purpose only okay it was okay. just a showcase okay so you can add here like with how many team members you have got okay right so instead of right. achieving like uh, instead of this uh, instead of this part you can uh, write like worked with a team of 5 or led a team of 5 okay. you can add it over here okay okay so i'm sending got this it one. right okay just copy it down those things which i am sending you okay. all right and uh, these all things you can remove Uh, second thing, second line is the UI design. Merge it with the first one, and third and fourth line you re remove. Okay. Okay. Last one you have technology used. Okay. 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 So this thing got away. And if you are creating your own uh, cloud operation project, that also you have to add after this. Right. So first you add right. your Lovely. project. This college project uh, keep right. it at last. The first project which you okay. have to write is your cloud operation project based upon your Spring. Okay. That you put it at first. Okay. Okay. Got it. So like this, this project session got over. Then the star performers. Uh, yeah, it's fine, but. Okay. Little bit more. You can remove this also. I think star performer. I think I think you can add it in a project experience as well. After doing this uh, development, I got this okay. star performance. So you can merge this two. In a bullet point. Okay. okay. Good. So this one looks good to me. All right. So I'm sending you this one for uh, star performance one. Okay. So okay. You have to write what actually led to it. So right. what actual work you did based upon that you got this star award. Okay. You have to write that reason. Otherwise, it this looks uh, very vague. Like star performer award I got. So, like anybody mm. can got this. Right. So, what extra efforts you did based upon that you got this award? That also you have to write now. So, this okay. was so with respect to quantifying impact. Then the repetition. So, in certain words you are repeating here. See, developed yeah. you have written four times. Here also developed. Here also developed. Right. Okay. So, used also you okay. have written five times. So, you have to change this. Okay. So this. Okay. Can do magic, right? Also, or you can just uh, suggestions. You can take these are the suggestions based upon that. You can select one of them. Okay. Okay. So uh, otherwise, there is a magic, right? Also, I will uh, tell you exactly. Developed highly reliable. Okay. Let me write it this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I have sent you for this one as well, right? Right. This this I got right already. Yeah. So this one you already got. This uh, trained. Where is the trained one? Yeah, he also developed. I think I have sent you for this one as well. Right. So there is no right, 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 right. Trained here also. I think I have given you for this. Then for right. testing, you have to remove this. We one. have it. Okay. So you have to keep these things. So I am sending right. you some of them. Okay. So these action verbs you can use. So don't okay. repeat the uh, same verbs again and again. I've sent you this. Just keep it with right. yourself. So instead of uh, writing the same word again and again, like develop, utilized, instead of that, you can select one of these. Right. Okay. okay. So if there is any repetitive phrase, so technology used for backend, you are repeating it multiple times. Okay. See, you are repeating, right. repeating it two times. So if if it is common across all the project, you can keep it at top. Like for all the projects, this technology is used. Okay. Don't rewrite the same line again and again. Got it? Okay. Okay. Then comes the weak okay. action verbs. So there are certain verbs which are very weak. Okay. So supported is mm -hmm. there, responsible for is there. So here it is telling instead of assisted, you can write facilitated. It's a strong verb. The strong action okay. verbs gives the sense of authenticity. Like yes, you have led the team confidently. Okay. So responsible right. for means you have you are just responsible for, but uh, exactly okay. what you did. So instead of responsible for, if you are telling initiated, then this gives more uh, trustworthiness. Right. right. You have initiated something. Right. So instead of writing responsible for. Okay. So these things. This one I am sending you. Okay. 
you can change mm-hmm. it you you get it in your resume right so this i am sending you right right this changes you have to do okay okay yeah. just keep it with yourself because this big action verb doesn't okay. look good doesn't look good on your resume so this is right this can see the example okay. like instead of worked on you can write implemented okay so implemented gives a more strong okay. action right you have implemented something but worked on means worked on means 5% also right. you have worked or 90% also you have worked how much you have worked it's not clear so All right this strong action works is good okay. then tense tense is good i think almost it's fine eclipse is a tool so there is no okay. such use of tense so right. it's fine here responsibilities right. yeah so accomplishment oriented will be there but this is responsibility oriented so you have to write like this ah, okay. managed a five member instead of being responsible write managed okay so it will be better okay so i have uh, given you one statement uh, that time right so it, right right it place it with this right it will work fine okay okay and spelling and inconsistency i think it will be good on prem uh, you can keep keep space in between okay c right. fine xt adobe xt is fine igm is fine yeah it doesn't uh, create impact on your score it's fine only then comes brevity okay. brevity resume length is fine use of bullet point is fine total bullet points also fine the length yeah sometimes somewhere the okay. length uh, it's very short so we should keep medium right. level bullet point like not very long not very short so yeah, okay. it's telling we have to add more details in this i think i've already sent you right. just replace it with that right 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 okay and tools you right. don't repeat right. it again and again so if it is common you can put it right okay. so this is okay. done. then filler words will be there so uh, we have to remove unnecessary verbs adverbs Okay. So, right. Think for this also. I have sent you the lines. Right. Okay. Yeah. So these are things. So this is the example. Okay. I'm sending you this example mm. so that you okay. get the idea. Okay. This filler works doesn't look good on the resume. Okay. So we have to replace it. Right. Then style. buzzwords are there management skills okay so these are very subjective okay so you have to specify right. what type of skills you can remove yeah. this management skills because you have worked on development part okay. communication and development is fine management skills you can right. okay because you are in back end work okay. so management skills are not required here so you can remove this management skills right then dates are okay. fine contact personal details fine readability is fine then personal pronouns i have used i and my this i my it okay these words are personal pronouns should not be right okay. so here okay. you can i have been recognized so this doesn't look good in your resume right. like it means like your team doesn't mm. did anything you have only done <laughs> so this thing doesn't look right <laughs> so right. remove this one i have okay. given you this line also before So I just replace it with this lines. Okay, it will work. Active voice. So we have to remove the passive voice. We should always have active voice. Okay. So right. it will tell you here only it's there. I have been recognized. So you have to replace right. it with active voice. Okay, I've already given you this line as well. Consistency. Okay. Right. You have to maintain the possible uh, right. punctuation should be consistent in your resume. So if there is a full stop in one line, okay, then all lines should have the full stop. Okay. okay. So here it is telling if you use right. any paragraph, make sure you always end them with periods, means dot. Okay. Okay. Somewhere you full might stop. have uh, removed full stop, so you have to see like everywhere there should be full stop. If it is not there, then no line should have full stop. Okay. The periods should okay. be consistent across all. So I think it is okay. clear. But the uh, award, okay. I think here it is telling bullet does not end with a period mm-hmm. here. I think it is considering uh, them as a single. I mean, double one thing at a time, right? These yes, two yes. as a one. You, you have started so with a capital letter, no? So before that, it should be. Oh, right. 
Okay. Otherwise, put it at small letter, then also it will fine. Got it. Then the section comes essential section, experience section, then education section. We have to fix. Okay, it can be improved okay. a bit. Like GPA, okay. GPA part you have removed. It is telling. So your GPA right. is relevant here. So how much GPA you got? You didn't put space here. So it is. All uh, right, I think. Okay. Got it. So since you are a mid to senior level job seeker, your GPA is less relevant. Okay, you have uh, you are more than right. years experience now, so you don't put GPA. Right. It's not required. It's for fresher specifically. Let's remove this. Okay. GPA is not required. Okay. Just keep on writing what all things have been told. Okay. So these are the things. Then I think apart from this, everything is fine. Okay. okay. So these are things. Have you noted it down? What all things I told? Yeah. I have uh, mostly written the things and the bullet points I have copied into Notepad, mm -hmm. so I will just replace them. Yeah. And uh, okay, so one one question like if in case after uh, correction the resume right, mm -hmm. and I, if I want to recheck my ATS score and the things if I need to fix it more, so this tool is free or we need to pay for something? Ah uh, yeah, uh, means uh, first two or three times you have to you, you can check it, you can check the score. Yeah, to know the exact things you have okay. to pay for that. So you can give it to me. I will right. scan it for you and I will give it for you. Achha. Because fourth yeah. June will be sure. my last. Be yeah, fourth June will be my last day for this. Again, I have to renew. So okay. you, have, you can uh, check it today and you can give it. So that sure, I can, sure. Uh, send you across. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, okay. everything is fine for this as of now. If you make these changes, you will <clears throat> get improved. <clears throat> and uh, I'll make the changes in that single format resume, okay? Yeah, I've sent you that That's resume, right? It, right? Yeah, I've sent you that resume. Okay. That score is 100 for that resume, okay? So you just go to okay. that resume and put it the point here itself. Okay. You can copy Perfect. it from here, whatever I've sent, and then paste it in there. Right. Create, create two copies of okay. that. Don't ch make change in original okay. copy. Okay. Right. Okay. Sure. And uh, one more thing, like other than these points, uh, do you think something should be added as per the experience level or as per the yeah uh, you can add projects you, only no? you know spring boot project one spring right. boot project one microservice project you can add it into github oh, and that okay. github link you can add here at the top and then below you can add that project as well okay, what all what exactly that project works how you have worked upon that project. okay below that you can add it. okay okay got it so in your uh, company the, you never used spring boot uh, no, not yet. Actually, uh, the day when I joined, it was initial code Java thing. Uh -huh. Then the second project they uh, um, uh, shared me, it was totally into like transition, uh, mm -hmm. the lift and shift. Okay. I mean, the comp it, it was not something a development. It was something like you are transiting uh, an already monolithic architecture working. Mm -hmm. You're moving it to the microservices architecture using Quarkus framework. Okay. So in microservice, you might have used Spring, right? Or that one also on Quarkus? I mean, it was totally on Quarkus. Quarkus has is inbuilt uh, JPA, and the uh, there are some other. Uh, so how are you think, extending JPA in Quarkus? How are you using JPA? Right, right. So generally, uh, that uh, we have this properties file, right? Application mm -hmm. or properties file. Yes. There we are configuring the URLs of the Hibernate, and we are passing the port and the. Uh, username, password. Yeah, for that, that is for DB configuration. That is for DB configuration. For right. using the JPA part, means in the spring it is using by extending JPA repository. So, like that. And work us how it works. Right. So generally, what they what, uh, what they do is uh, we generally create a class and we extend it to the Panache Panache entity. There's a Panache entity base inside the Quarkus only. Mm -hmm. So we generally extend our classes with that. Yeah, it's a little bit different there. Because if you give Spring Boot right. interview, right, so they will expect that you tell, like, this is the interface repository is created. It extends JPA repository okay. and it is accepting that uh, entity class name, comma, that uh, data type of that primary key. So they are expecting those right. words, basically. Okay, got it. Okay. I mean, I think uh, that is something I need to work on as well. I mean, it would be uh, great if I can create a project right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that will give, give me a hands-on as well. And for the project perspective as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Like, we'll be able to add one project as well as for the interview also. I mean, they will not, I mean, it is for sure. I think they are going to ask 
spring boot only they are looking yes. for that yeah so even if i put quarkus or something that may not help me more i mean no, as no. compared to if the demand is not there speed. then what will be the use of mentioning that there should be a demand of that skill right 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 so you start working for one week it will take in youtube you will get to know what all top spring boot interview questions there will be a lot of videos on that okay so if you go through 40 50 videos on spring boot okay. one video will be there which contains 40 50 questions so there is right. a famous channel code the code you might be knowing that so yeah. right right so in that channel uh, she explains everything what all type of questions asked with exact questions okay. so you can prepare it for from there if you want to prepare it fast otherwise if you prepare it from right. beginning then start learning spring then spring boot then you will see the difference why okay. spring boot came because in interview people are asking ki okay, what's the difference between spring and spring boot why that migration happened so you should know that difference right okay then comes right. those things ki okay, how okay. are you defining it today is a mapping that is also very important one to one one to many many to one right so how are you uh, writing the annotation that whenever that parent entity is getting saved the child entity should also get saved so there is a mapped by feature is there there is a cascading feature is there okay right so those things you should be knowing that okay. it's very important okay okay So this was there with respect okay. to your resume. So anything else you want to ask? Uh, I, uh, one question I have. I mean, like I have heard that uh, like this Nokri dot com portal is there, right? Mm-hmm. There we need to like every day we need to make some changes into that so that our resume will be like going uh, in the top of the search or something. I don't know. I mean, heard of it something. Mm-hmm. I mean, how much sure is it? Yeah, it uh, goes because uh, it yeah, because there it actually works in a stack format. Stack, you know, right? Last in, first out. Whatever right. is coming at right. last, it will come out first. So if you make changes, right. yeah, if you make changes in at around nine fifteen or ten a.m., so at that time only recruiter okay. becomes more active in you know Nokri to check okay. that. So if you make changes, anything in that, it will go at top. So that means in Nokri okay. profile, Nokri is a platform, right? Which indicates to recruiter right. that this particular candidate is more active on this platform. That means he needs more. Right. Time. Then uh, they will check for your skill set and all. If it matches the job, then they will call you. That is okay. the second step. Okay. So okay. these two points should be there. Got it. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, I just need to work on a couple of projects, especially yeah. on Spring Boot. One Spring Boot and project, one this... microservice project. First is to you. Okay. Along with design patterns. Right. Okay. Along with design patterns, yeah, this is also must, and put it into uh, my GitHub, and then I can add the GitHub URL to the resume. At the top, you can add. Right. Yeah. And, right. And I think then I can. It would be at least good, and I can create a single format, uh, single page resume. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Instead of making it div. Yeah. Okay. I've sent you across, so you can see that how it is. Right. Different. I will follow follow that pattern. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think okay. And generally, uh, tell me one more thing. Like I prefer Nokri portal only so far. Mm-hmm. So do we have any other portals also where we can apply for these jobs? Mainly two places are there: Nokri and LinkedIn. Then apart from that, Insta Hire. Okay. Insta Hire is also there. You can create profile there. There are good product based companies okay. also comes. Okay. Then apart from that, you can go through referral. Okay. So referral also right. works faster. You can uh, you can apply to okay. websites. Okay, so best okay. way is uh, to put it on Nokri and and referral. Okay. For referral, you need to okay. make make strong connection. You have to build up right. your LinkedIn profile. Okay. So okay. have you added you know, the core things in your LinkedIn bio? Like what all things you have uh, worked upon? You should add it in your bio. Right. Right. I have written. I mean, uh, the technology is the project I am working on. Mm-hmm. I just give us single snapshot, single line of snapshot about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have added. Uh, I mean, like in the past uh, when I was in college, so I used to get calls from the Nokri dot com itself. I mean, without even applying. And now I'm an experienced person. I used to think like I should get it more now, but instead of it, it is getting reversed. Yeah, because at this point of time, current situation is not that good. No, I think after election uh, result come, then it will be a little bit better. It depends upon the economic right. scenario as well. Okay. Economics, right? So these are the things. So here I can't see any other thing mentioned. Let me show you my one. Okay. C 
see because most mm-hmm. of the recruiters are coming on linkedin as well it's a very professional platform okay so if you mm-hmm. can uh, showcase your skill set here then this will be the okay. first line that any person will see so they will mm-hmm. see Got your it. name and then they will see the first line of your bio the first line of your bio should contain the right. exact keyword which the recruiters are looking for so i have put here rest okay. api keyword one is the rest api is the one of the keyword okay right then there is spring jpa one of the keyword and microservices one of the keyword okay aws is one of the mm. keyword that means i have okay. on the cloud and also those things are important then core java this okay. is one of the keyword so you have to add these keywords there okay so Got then it. you will see like there are a lot of people coming so here you will see in others there will be a lot of people coming here doing in mail <laughs> okay there will be a lot of in mail right. there and focused also there are a lot of in mails coming okay so, Got it. These only people are seeing, and uh, right. and um, I was actually switching the job, and uh, I I was okay. also I was also having around ninety days notice period, so I was just okay. in- maintaining the good LinkedIn profile. I got uh, from Capgemini through this uh, message only LinkedIn in mail. From there I submitted okay. the form, and then uh, my interview process got started. So you have to got open it. up your avenues basically. So so so, so, so not depend okay. on only Nokri or only Indeed or only Instahire. No. Just open up your okay. avenues. Maybe you can get one opportunity from any platform. You never know. Right. Okay. Right. So how generally you used to do? Like I mean, every day you go to these uh, platforms and make some changes, or is it like you have a weekend plan? I mean, or some specific days you have to look up to the resume or the portals? Yeah. So basically, you can go through some other people profile. Those who are excelling. Okay, maybe they are working at okay. PayPal or big product based company. See how they are making right. their bio. Just try to okay. replicate that. Okay, and every day make okay. small small changes. Don't try to make all the changes in one particular part. Okay. Got it. Just uh, maybe one day you are sitting and making changes here. One line, one or right. two lines have you made. Then next day you are thinking right. like I can add some more things in that. Maybe you have uh, right. done very good in your project in your uh, college okay. college days. So that also you can add right. here. Okay. Next day you are thinking okay. like yes, I have added one Spring project you have created and you have added to GitHub. That also you can add it over here. Okay, in resource section. Got it. Then about section Got you have it. to write it properly. Here you have to tell your top skill set. Okay, people are coming and watching. Got it. Then if you are giving right. any service, that also you can add over here. Then this activities okay. means post this experience. So these all things right. if you are ch- making change here, it will automatically get displayed. But the description is there, no? that is unique. So right. what what exactly think, yeah. you did in your uh, company okay. that you can explain Got it over it. here? Okay. Got it. So like this, you can explain it. If you have taken any certification, that also you can add. Okay. So okay. education sure. is there. Then if any certification you have there, AWS uh, data structure algorithm okay. I have taken. So these all certifications I have added. So this actually create a good right. impact. It creates a good trustworthiness on the data. Right. Like yes, he knows something. Then they will directly, if okay. it uh, matches with their job roles and description, they will directly email you right. the requirements. Then the process will start. Okay. So like it. this, it works. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And I think uh, we are good. I mean, we have covered almost everything, and uh, I have noted also a couple of important things. I'll work on it. I mean, I'll just. Try to put these points into single format resume. Yeah, yeah, sure. And maybe once after that done, no, I will just uh, try to send you the updated resume. Yeah. You can just quickly have a look into the score and the other things. Like if any suggestions would be there, yes, just let me know. I will try to add that as well. Yes, sure. Okay. okay. I think that's it. Anything else? I mean, you want to share or we have got. <laughs> anything you want to know or anything else uh, i mean i think related to resume it is good i mean i think we have uh, another call also yeah how would you like uh, will it be started next or we can continue in this as well uh, let me see it once right I think there is another call is there. You can join there. Right. Closing at this one. Okay. You can add, give testimonial yeah. okay. uh, for both. Okay. If you find it. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. Okay. Sure.
ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू नेक्स्ट कॉल बाय